pick up an application Girl, and get a place. Bitch, no bars. <laughs> no bars. Well, no pick up place. a mover. Because that's what's going to happen. No place. Pick up your <laughs> mover. Let me give her a new style. A new hairdo. A new cut. A new color. <laughs> Yeah. What's that? Uh, good. Good. Pumpkin uh, spice. Okay. Thank you. Uh, girl, I disengage. Go ahead, mama. Bye, bitch. Go ahead. Hope Bye, you girl. Hope I ain't gotta go, go nowhere. I ain't gotta go nowhere. I just okay, don't have to shut your bitch or talk to no bloody tampon looking and ass faggot talk who can't find their mother the homeless or their shelter. Or the plot number. My mother is living one. better than you. Because you're not living nowhere. She eating maggots. Excuse yourself, bitch. She eating maggots. And you're not eating anything. And what you eating? I'm inside. She don't even have a motherfucking shelter for her head in the ground. And neither do you. A tombstone is supposed to be the home over the ground. And I did it too. She don't have and a I did it over the ground. And I did it each other. Hey, mommy. Bitch. What the hell? Hey. It's cold. Grab me Rosa, a blanket. Rosa, mommy. We outside. Rosa, we mommy. outside bitch. today. We outside I'm today. Imagine being a cold kid, y'all. No car, no Girl. place, no nothing. Girl, she is a mess. Y'all know where where you been? Been? The been around for 10 and months without a car. He's 40. The the been for 10 months without a car after Jay wrecked your motherfucking shit. And you can not get she's a pool anywhere else. Oh, was that before or after you tried to kill Noah Dog? Was that before or after you tried to kill Noah Dog? Can't tell me a fucking thing. And a bitch with no car can't tell me a fucking thing. A bitch that ain't got no place, a pot with a window to pour it out so you can do a fucking thing. You can use his CPM. You crazy? So you can use his CPM, my love. But imagine you you're not having one. You How you ain't your nigga a trick and, trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you still ain't got a place? You ain't a trick and you you she a nigga that said he's Remember she tried to burn down the house and kill the dog? You get fucked by everybody else by the pool when you go out of town. And your nigga get fucked you. by dates. He's celibate with you. Your nigga get fucked by dates. I'm getting dick, you're Fuck not. I'm getting dick, you're not. Bye bye bye, Noah. I'm getting dick, you're, you're taking not. taking dick like you wrecked Tory. And remember you just, and like you wrecked Tory, Tory B. Didn't you just say, didn't you wrecked Tory B? Oh, didn't you, you ain't need a motherfucking Jay because you got money? Didn't you you didn't just say that. You said you don't need Jay. You got money. You can go buy you another nigga. Tory B? Let's didn't talk you about it. You can go buy you another didn't nigga. You, you don't need come Jay. On the yacht, fat I'm asking. I'm asking didn't my love. I'm going to interview you. Yacht, fat didn't you say that you didn't need Jay? You can buy you another nigga because you got money? Because you tried to buy him. Forgot? You said you said you said you tried to buy Jay because you got money. You tried to buy. I would never buy your trash. I would never buy your trash, bitch. Well, you did. Everybody remember that. You're the only bitch that did that shit in their motherfucking drawers. Everybody remember that. You're the only bitch that did with niggas shitting in their drawers. I'm good. You're the only bitch that did that. You're the only bitch that did that. You're the only bitch that's still around, bitch, picking up shitty drawers. My love. Oh, okay. You're the only bitch. Pick up them shitty drawers again, my love. Pick up an application Girl, and get a place. Bitch, no bars. <laughs> no well, bars. Well, no place. Because that's what's going to happen. No place. Pick up your <laughs> movers. No place. Pick up your movers. And bitch, if I do, I got Pick up your bank. movers. <laughs> Pick up your movers. And Let's see. Uh, Let's see how quick you can pack it up. <laughs> homeless bitch. <laughs> I'm in a home. I'm in a home. I'm raining just uh, like you're raining. Oh, it's not a home. And the chair is not a chair. There. When there's nobody sitting there. There's somebody here. There's somebody here. There's somebody here. A house is not a home. That's bitch. what you were saying when Jay went there. You better pick it up. You better pick it up, my lad. You just home alone. Watch you better pick it up, my lad. Damn. Cause I you the real stalker. Love. You're just like Cherry Stalker, my love. The boy couldn't even go to Atlanta to go Girl have a good time while you were over there watching his every Girl motherfucking bye. move. And what was you watching? I would think you want to watch something else better than what you watching right Girl, now. Girl, you're a reject. You're a reject, Donna. Beautiful and bitch. And we see you. We see the peach. You are a reject version of Donna, my love. The red wig is old. 
bitch, bitch the queen cheeks out all the time. Bitch, like. the same motherfucking she bitch. She said, that if you I was a knockoff Donna, I would be smoking cigarettes. You're wearing the same fucking clothes. Where's your, where's your, where's your dream yeah. outfit? That doesn't give me. Where's your dream outfit? That doesn't give me um drink. Where's your dream outfit? I'm lost. That doesn't Hello? give Donna. Oh, oh, man. Okay, we're tired. That doesn't man, give Donna. We're tired of the same. We're tired of being homeless at 40. We're tired of it. You've been homeless no, more times yet. on you're not Vigo tired than anybody. You're not tired yet. You've been you're homeless not tired multiple yet. times you're on Vigo. You're not tired yet. You're not tired yet. Never, oh. never been. Imagine partying never with the been. stars, bitch. And they like, can we drop you never off? Been. No, I, I never, been. <laughs> never been. Never been. Never <laughs> been. Never been. Bye, girl. Jason Lee is Always worse by you. Never been. You're not. No, you're Wasn't waiting for Jay to come. No, you're not. Wasn't waiting for Jay to come move me. No, you're not. And wasn't think, waiting for Jay to come and move no one busting down dates and still can't help you move yeah imagine a motherfucker no busting down dates and, and still can't help you move imagine a bitch no one busting down dates and still can't help you move and still can't help you move and he still came back bitch just Mwah. a motherfucking bitch get no free please. rent oh okay. you are no oh, okay, please. you're always gonna be a fat ass sugar daddy, my love. Uh, this is your karma for sucking the fuck leg out of my fucking ass, 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 ass bitch. Peg leg, bitch. You, you, you fell off the stage, bitch. You forgot what a dream. You fell off the stage, bitch. You fell off the stage. Bitch, you fell off the stage. Bitch, you fell off the stage. Bitch, you fell off the stage. That's why every time Jay see you or he trying to fuck that dick, all he see is black heart with that fake thighs, my love. Can we see that black thighs? Open them thighs up. Open them thighs up. Bet you see black tar. Girl, Open them thighs up. Girl, all that rubbing. All that excess rubbing. Open them doors up. Can't do that, though. Open them doors up. 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 Open them doors <laughs> Look Nolan up your voice. rap cheat. Look up your place. Nolan Void. I wonder if your apartment complex is like your place. Human trafficking over there in the Owl's Place. I wonder if your apartment is like your human you're trafficking over there you're in the Owl's Place. You're making lies. You're lying. I'm Miss asking. Oh, I'm lying. lying. Oh, now I'm lying. Documentation beats be conversation. Be Documentation beats so conversation, so my love. Cheers. I from the D. Cheers. It's big. Woo child, as y'all can see, a former web reality TV personality turned Beagle Live host Gardini, better known now as Rick Rosa, and another Beagle Live host, Dre Baby, are currently not seeing eye to eye. However, believe it or not, these two used to be friends, and days after that heated argument in which we all just saw took place, they both tried to discuss the root of their issues days later. And well, it's safe to say that that conversation went left as well. Take a look. <laughs> they can never work with the truth, bitch, because she ain't got no dirt on me. Bitch, anytime I was around her, I was a good girlfriend. Treated no, her well. Were. No, you were. No, you were. In, per in person, you was so a great person. You just couldn't accept that you were wrong as a friend and say, girl, I was wrong and own it. I was wrong for leaking your number. You wanna, bitch, you that's all I did. You, you know, let me finish. Dre, I was wrong. I apologize. I should have took the friendship on Girl, the back end. a flight. Girl, are you going to let me gonna fight me? No, but you, you just don't understand how the fuck. You got the airport. And you didn't come. Bitch, because you, bitch, oh, I did. No, you didn't come. I stayed at the airport Yo, for an hour up. and you didn't show up. Bitch, when you ain't come to fight, bitch, you can't eat chicken wings. No, you never came outside for a whole week, so I, I didn't have a choice. But she got chicken wings and so this bitch line You can't come outside for a whole week. Y'all, so listen, I just made her lie on herself. Because maybe y'all heard said, said, Dre, I stayed no, online said, for six days, days, days in, in Baltimore. Baltimore. You knew oh, all my locations and you I never came outside. outside. So she you said, never came outside, Dre. Y'all, but here she's like, watch this. Y'all, y'all clocking it. She said, oh, yeah, because I'm moving next door to Dre. Remember that was her whole point of coming and in. We here. Get approved. Approved. And we did get approved. And we did get approved. And we did get approved. That was my way. That was my. 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 That was
How when did I you get the plates? You never got the plates. Dre, I got approved, but that was the point of me getting the plates. I was a movie. Okay. Okay, Dre. See, this is the thing. This is how dumb bitches motherfuckers sound. I don't have to lie. Baby, I went and did the application so I could have the access to be in the apartment. I was never moving into the apartment, my love. Bitch, it was the point of doing the application so I can have access to get into the apartment. So I can walk up, go up the stairs to the third or fourth floor. Girl, please stop. Please stop. That's why it's never no progress with you because you always want to pinpoint. It's never no progress with you. Because it, it, we can't build shit if it don't start at the foundation of how we got here, bitch. Right. I ain't gonna okay. start on the third floor, but bitch, you didn't even get done the first floor. Right. Like you said. So, bitch, mm -hmm. I'm at the first floor trying to figure out how we building the foundation to go any further. You want me to mm -hmm. just jump and hop all over the motherfucking steps, bitch? No, we gotta start at the beginning. So, what do you want from me? Got here. What do you want from what me? Up, it's not, it's not what I want from you, it's what I know of you. And what I know okay. of you is that you'll do anything when you're upset with someone just to prove a point. That's bitch, true. I'll, you go love That's and true. bitch, I'll take you to hell. That's true, but you have too. So, okay. We you see have each other. Pull, give me, give me a second. Each other. I, I always say we see each other. So you, pulled each up, other. You, you pulled up, hold on a second, let me finish. You, you pulled up the Tay House and peed on her fucking That's car. That's you about to speak about everybody let else. Let me finish. Like, you had to mention everybody else except I'm me. It's the truth, though. I'm not even going to say we see each other. You do the same thing. No, but I'm telling you that we do the same thing, though. We do the same thing. Me and you. Okay, me and you, Dre. Me and you. Me and you. Okay, me and you. Me and the number. Dre, she's still. Out. Okay, it was just the number. It was just the number, Dre. Hello. Because even after all that, bitch, I still put my neck out for you. And I said, girl, listen, I'm going to get you a deal with Bigo so, girl, so your page can come back. I wrote you, reached out, and you still tried to backdoor me on that. Then came back to that as if I didn't do nothing to try to help you. You do weird shit, girl. It's impossible, and it only leads me to believe you can't take me. You can't take my space. You can't take my aura. You can't take my spirit. You that's how you feel. In all the flesh. That's what I know. It's not a feeling. That's, a, that's, a, that's how I you know. feel. That's what I know of you. You can't take me. Big okay. sister, the big sister. You can't take this big sister. No, you're not my big sister. I'm your you big sister. You want to be like me. You, you want to be like make some work for me, bitch. From the wig color. You want to have to make some work for me, bitch. Bitch, you can't even contour your nose properly, bitch. So you're not like me. Baby, I'm the big sister, my love. That's why no, you wear a mask. Like That's you, why you have to go get green closet. Dre, let's be fair. When we like met you, you had on one black dress and ugg boots. You started going to get fucking top and mask top and everything else. Girl, we met you looking like a hobo. Why change your look? We met you looking like a hobo. Why, Why change your look? Why change your like look? You. Why change your look? You want to lose <laughs> weight like me? You want to grow your facial hair like me? Bitch, we met you bald Where? face. Where? Baby, you, forgot, you, forgot you, you forgot you grew a whole beard to get Jay? You forgot Where? you grew a whole beard to get Jay? I'm asking. You forgot your 5 o'clock like shadow that you trying to grow? I'm asking. You forgot your 5 o'clock shadow? Please to stop. Please what stop. Do you have I was wearing makeup black. for entertainment. You was wearing makeup I for survival. We're sister. two different people. I was, I'm sister. Sister. I was wearing makeup I'm for sister. entertainment. You was wearing makeup for survival. Yeah. You was prostituting. Yeah. I was doing mine for comedy. Yeah. Yeah. We're two different people. Yeah. yeah. You was doing so yours for you something. I was doing mine okay. to go viral. We're two different people. You, okay. Sorry. You just my said. Love. All right. Sorry. You just said. You just said I'm trying to be like you, and I said, "What do you have for me to be like?" What are you talking about? Dre, I've been... I've what been, do you I, have? My, my presence. For me everything about me. Life. My presence. Everything oh, about okay. me. Everything about me. <laughs> she can't explain shit. Every, she everything died. about me. She everything died. about me. You, you name it. Everything. <laughs> everything me, about me. Everything right. about me. All right. Everything All right. about All right. me. Where I All go, right. where I eat, I my friends. Right. Bitch, everything about me you want to be like. Everything, right. bitch. How you can't, right, how you gotta wear a size 24 and 26, uh -oh. patent leather pants, and bitch, uh -oh. I wear a 16. Everything about me. You wanna, uh -oh. you wanna do everything I do. Everything, uh -oh. my love. Hold on. Everything. Hold on. That's what it is. Then you said that you beautiful. Wigs. You said I was wearing wigs. Excuse me? You said I was trying to be like you wearing wigs. Yeah, bitch. Dre, what's your color? Your color was always black and brown, bitch. You only had three wigs as a prostitute. Dream had Can a I black dress and all boots. Dream ain't never wear silky top. Wigs before this? Dream, Dream ain't never wear silky top. I'm talking about now since you've been on Beagle. We met you with 99 cent wigs backwards. That's how we met you. 
We met you online with 99 cent wigs backwards, lining with Nick Will. You forgot? So what changed? So what changed? I'm My asking, you hair? forgot? So what changed? I don't know, it must be the money or it must be the influence. So, Which one? So, the money so, or the I'm influence? Out, okay. I don't know, so the, the money or the influence. You, you see them when the facts come out, you're trying to over talk. No, so no, when no, the I'm not over talking to you. You said you would never do a T-show. What you doing now? Go ahead. You said you would never do a T-show. What you doing now? A T-shirt so, hold on, hold on, with the next hold bitch, on, hold with the next bitch as a co-host. So as a co-host, hold on, <laughs> hold on, y'all. This is a as joke. A a panel as a co-host, a cat fight with two booty bleeders. Please get me. But I'm saying you're not even making no sense, girl. You know you're not. You know you I mean. doing a T-show now, and you told your people you would never do a T-show, and it's not even on your. It's not even on your page. You a co-host. You somebody so, else okay. co-star. Okay, that's so, crazy. You're somebody else's okay. co-star. Uh, so that's me trying to be like you. It's okay. You know that don't make sense. You know that shit don't it's add okay, up. Right. That was it. I, that's it. That's it. That I, I, I just engaged. Engage. It I just engaged. It's okay. We're not going. We're not yeah. getting nowhere. We never. We never get nowhere. Because you don't never listen. Not, it's okay. No, you never I listen, already, so we never get nowhere. It's okay. Said, I just engaged. I've already said, and I, I just engaged. Girl. I just we, engaged. We see each other. We don't. I just engage. I just engage. Yeah. Yeah. I just think it's like we're best just apart, and that just is what it is. It's no hard feelings, you know. It's just the situation where I just don't want to be in her space. I just think that she just is just somebody that I just don't trust, and I don't care to trust. And I think it's vice versa, and um, it is what it is. Got it. No hard feelings, bitch. No nothing. No. no. I'm done, girl. I don't need to read Rose you no more. You stay on your side. I stay on my side. Yeah, yeah, I don't understand that, but it, Jack, like, I know people just keep just saying y'all would do man. great work together, y'all would do good together, y'all would do that. I really think so, too. I think Rose is entertaining and stuff like this, but when you see a person that can't take you, and you see the stuff they do, you'll be like, girl, why would I want to do that? Like, I don't feel like she can take me. <laughs> I just don't. She finds every little thing negative to say about me. No, but I have, to, I have to do an agency meeting, so I have to leave. I'll see y'all guys. Child, there's clearly a lot of animosity and accusations coming from both parties, and the bar is clearly in hell. It's all the way down there, okay? With, you know, a deceased parent's tombstone being mentioned and someone being allegedly essayed by Rosa to Dre baby liking guys who allegedly have poop stains in their underwear, <laughs> to Rosa filling out an application just so he can get access to Dre baby's apartment, to Dre baby saying he did show up to the airport to fight Rosa. He wanted to dot that I. Bink! Bink, but Rosa was too busy stuffing his face with chicken wings. You know what? I said the bar was in hell, but I take that back. The bar is clearly non-existent at this point. I don't see the bar anywhere, okay? But I must admit, I'm thoroughly entertained, which I'm, which I'm sure says a lot more about me than it does about these two brothers. Okay, But on the bright side, Rosa did say that Dre Baby was copying him by trying to lose weight, which, you know, is a beautiful thing. I'm glad that despite all of the drama, the girls are on their health and fitness journey because health as well okay i'm trying to lose 15 pounds my damn self so we are all in this journey together <laughs> but you know what cousins in other news despite dre baby having absolutely no love for rick rosa at all during this current time dre baby he does have a soft heart for the young up and coming gays of the world. And he wants to make sure they protect themselves when they are doing adult activities out here in these streets. Take a look at Dre Baby schooling a college younging on the do's and don'ts of getting down and dirty. Hold on, hold on. You know, I gotta start from the side and work my way to the bottom. Are you on any prep 
or any discovies or anything like that? Um, to answer your question, no, I'm not. You're gonna not be, no, I'm not because I'm not oh, sexually no. active. I'm not active. I haven't had that in like, years. Um, well, yeah. So, um, is John waiting on me? Okay, tell him I'm gonna be there and like. Okay, tell him give me like five more minutes and I'm gonna be. Oh, oh. Sorry. Oh, John, he has his, um, his, uh, uh, y YNC Casino. Okay. Okay. So, are you um, any preps? Or no. Medication? No. The answer is no. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I know that you're strained from your family. And usually when you're strained from your family, you're not so caught. This is a serious thing. Listen. Stop listening to respond. And listen to think. I've been there. I've done that. You heard me? When you're strained from your family and you figured it out on yourself, the medical aspect takes a seat back. When you're in survival mode and you're working and you're doing this, you don't have time to go to the doctors. You don't have time to get checkups and physicals because you're so busy worrying about school and now and da, da, da. you got to take a step back and say, OK, let me go get checked down. You need to probably go get checked on. Talk to your medical advisors. about no, getting I put on It's so... I got. I okay. get. I get my so, yearly checkup, blood work, all that. You need to get put on prep. This is the time. Get put on prep. I'm not telling you nothing. That it's not an option. It's priority. It's up here. You get what I'm saying? It's up here. Get put on prep for real. You never know what could happen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A drunk night. Uh, Lord forbid. Date rape drug. Who knows? In college, they're spiking drinks in college. You're doing drugs, cocaine, marijuana. They're lacing it with fentanyl. I'm be you need to hear it. It's cocaine usage in college. It's marijuana being laced with fentanyl these days. That's new. Fentanyl is being laced in the marijuana these days. You gotta watch out for that. That's a big thing. Don't smoke off the people blunts because what's happening is they're using dippers and all types of chemicals. Buy your own weed. It's college. They're, they're kids still. Their their minds are not fully developed. It's the frontal lobe, twenty five. So they still doing things like that's experiment. It's experimental in college. It's experimental. So you got to be a little bit more up than them because they be thinking like, oh yeah, I'm going to something. I'm going. I'm going to hit this blind. Oh, give me something. You can't necessarily indulge because you don't know what they putting on that shit. No shade these days. So if you was to smoke, make sure you got your own weed, your own roll ups. I say get on prep. That's clearly an option for you. Mm -hmm. Get on prep. If you is to suck dick raw, look at the dick, examine the dick. It could taste good, but don't catch the nut, because that could lead to some other stuff. Spit, don't I say don't catch the nut. If you was to suck dick raw, don't catch the nut. Maybe get a uh, 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 a baby wipe, wipe it off. It might look good, but just carry me on maybe some dude wipes in your messenger. I, I, wipe it I, off. I, yeah. I definitely get the message. And sometimes I'm, you might not see the bump under the dicks because if you suck no. dick in the park late, hold on, I'm telling you the real. If you suck a dick in the late in the park or something, it's at night, or if you're cruising at night and you suck a dick in the park in the campus, you might not can see like, damn, I didn't see the bump because you just so eager to suck the dick. So come with a little flashlight, Art? open your phone up, put the flashlight on, look at oh. exact. This is real, Vaughn. I'm trying. I'm telling. You, don't look at the comments. Look at me. This no, is I real. Get it, but like, Examine I'm not that dick. freaked out. Like, because even when I no, I'm just. It's not about being freaked out, baby girl. I'm trying to give you some life lessons. Even when you sucking dick in the park, um, even when you sucking dick, and you you forget like, damn, I didn't pull the dick out, ate it real quick because I'm so horny and eager to eat the dick that you don't even examine the dick. And this is a lesson for them too. You gotta start for real. You gotta start examining dicks before you suck the dick. Look at the dick first. Like, damn, you like, you so eager to put it in your mouth. You forgot, damn bitch, I ain't even look at. Hold on, let me check. Let me feel it. Let me feel the pubic hairs. I'm feeling any bumps right there on the pubes. Any crabs or something. Um, Let me shave it through my nose okay, and see if it can come in my nose. I'm very observant. But I'm um, trying to give you some attentiveness. Not in the park, not in the dark. You're not. I don't you think about it. That's, that's never happened. It will never happen. The park is crazy. Well, you can't come in the room because of the roommate. I can, though. So you will suck a dick in the car? I can. Oh, so you will suck a dick in the car? No, I can. Oh, so you will come in, in my dorm. So you're doing, get, get, you will suck a dick with the roommate sitting next to you? No. No, I never Okay, right. 
Okay, so I'm trying to give you, in case you got to go in the park, just in case you got to go in the park, you need to go in the, the stalls, you got to go somewhere dark, somewhere secluded, somewhere do do do. Make sure that you're cutting the flesh out on, get a wipe, wipe it down, because sometimes what happens is if you're kissing and you're making out, he's licking the nipples, he's sucking the neck, he's kissing your mouth. What is happening is, y'all, someone is getting hard, and what's happening is that moisture, the leakage from the dick, you know, the pre com, you got to wipe that off too. It could be something hot in the pre com. Wipe that tip of that pre-cum, is, his drawers are wet and soaked. Wipe the pre-cum off too before you get to sucking it. It's a lot to take into consideration. Yeah. I definitely thank you That's for, for um, real. for the words of encouragement. But I got to go to this panel. Um, I definitely appreciate you. I love you so much. Um, Hi, baby. All right. I love that. And I honestly think more conversations like that need to be had. And Dre Baby is so funny that even though he was giving sound advice to this younging, it didn't come off preachy. You know, it came off very real and authentic. He told that young man, hey, listen up, listen, listen, listen. Even though you're claiming you are not a frisky person, life happens and baby, life happens fast. <laughs> so be prepared. Take caution. Anything can happen, so make sure you do your yearly checkups. And you know what? Take it a step further. Get on prep, young man, because you never know, you know, someone out there can try to take advantage of you. The college life is filled with a lot of partying. And, you know, Dre Baby is absolutely right. And to top it off, the young man that he was talking to is an extremely attractive young man. And sadly, there are weirdos out there who might want to take advantage of that young man. You know what I mean? They might want to have their way with that young man in the bedroom. And next thing you know, that young man, he has a disease that he cannot get rid of. So, yes, be careful out here in these streets, folks. And that's on here. Yeah. Independently on, she pay all her bills, good skin, booty hole tight. Ain't been fucked and plugged, girl. Now, speaking of attractive men, popular queer couple Geronimo and Omar, known as Jero and Omar, have split up, and baby, it is a scandal. Okay. So these guys are both popular on social media in their own right via TikTok, with Omar having close to 1 million followers and Jero having close to 200,000 followers. But together as a couple, these two pretty boys set the TikTok and YouTube streets on fire this year. They met each other online in 2019. And fast forward to 2024, they finally met each other. They got engaged. Then they got married. And, you know, they started their own YouTube channel together. It was really cutesy. And they were quickly becoming the online face for Black Young Queer Love. <laughs> It was a beautiful thing to see on the surface. Now, I caught wind of them a couple of months ago, and I smiled because I love, well, love. I am a hopeless romantic. However, comma, there was just something about Geronimo, Geronimo, that's his name, G Geronimo, that had my spirit uneasy. Now, Geronimo, I believe he not only lives, but he is also from Paris, and Omar lives here in the States, so they have always been a long-distance couple, which is extremely tough on a relationship as it is. I myself have been in a long-distance relationship, not once, but twice. It's not for the week. I can tell you that much. I can tell you that right now, but like I previously stated, there was something about Geronimo that, I don't know, just rubbed me the wrong way and I couldn't quite put my, mm, mm, I couldn't put my finger on it, okay? So I did some research on this brother a couple of months ago and I found out that this man was on a French dating show and he was trying to wee wee, um, 
<laughs> and find love with women. And there's nothing wrong with being bisexual. Shout out to the bi girls. And there's nothing wrong with being on reality TV either. However, usually when someone is on TV, um, they're either on TV for the following reasons, okay? It's A, because it's their job. Like for instance, they are a news reporter or a weatherman, you know what I mean? Or a weather woman. Or B, they are on TV because they want to experience the show that they are on, like, you know, a Big Brother or a Survivor uh, contestant or a game show contestant. Or C, um, they want to be seen for attention, you know. And Geronimo is someone who wants to be seen. Hey, I'm not mad at it, but in life, you need to know who you are dealing with, okay? Geronimo is an aspiring singer and model, and he is someone who wants to be seen. He is someone who is trying to break through in the entertainment industry, which is fine. Do your thing, Playboy. And he does have a really nice singing voice. My baby, don't mess her up because she loves me so, and this I know for sure. But I she really want the bookies then to see me walk out the door. Yeah. Don't try and fight it, feel it, cause the thought of love is killing me right now. So I found out about those things with Geronimo, and I was still like, nope. There has to be more. Well, after more digging, it turns out this man is also an adult entertainer with an OF account and has been on OF since 2023. And he has a freak account on Twitter, which promotes his OF content. And boom, I knew it. I knew it. I knew there was something about this man. And I'm not saying that adult entertainers don't or can't have a love life. I'm just saying when I saw videos of Geronimo and Omar together, it just always appeared to me that Omar was the one extremely into Geronimo. Like Geronimo was just there, okay? Omar was the one all googly eyed. You know what I mean? And posting about their their love story and how they met and how the people told him long distance relationships would never work. But here we are in 2024 and they are married. So the jokes on all of us, like Omar was all the way in with Geronimo, but I never got that from Geronimo himself. So when I found out all of the information about Geronimo that I just mentioned, you know, the reality TV show, the wanting to be in the entertainment industry and him being an adult entertainer, I knew they were headed for disaster. So from that point on, I didn't even continue to follow their journey as a couple together. It was pointless to me because I knew the plane was going down sooner or later and i didn't want to be along for that plane ride sissy pie okay now keep in mind that was months ago okay and here we are in september and boom the plane has crashed and at this moment it's looking like the couple didn't survive the plane crash so here's the tip even though they got married this year, they still lived apart doing the long distance thing. You know, Geronimo still lived in Paris and Omar still lived in the States. However, as of late, Omar felt some distance with Geronimo, like he would call him and no response. And then Geronimo, he stopped saying things like, I love you on the phone, good night. Just, you know, the things that weren't the norm. It was giving what the F is going on type tease. And Omar is someone who has trust issues and he needs constant reassurance. So he begins freaking out like, what is going on? Where is my man? And in a attempt to ease his husband's mind, Geronimo takes a flight to the States to see Omar. 
and all is going well until Omar goes through Geronimo's phone and he sees two Snapchat videos of Geronimo having adult relations with a guy named Calvin. Woo! Now, the gag is... Omar wasn't a stranger to Kelvin because Geronimo was openly hanging out with Kelvin. That was his friend. And oh, by the way, that was Geronimo's straight friend. Oh, yes. This Kelvin character is supposedly married to his wife and he's straight. At least that's what Omar was told until he found them Snapchat videos of Geronimo. Clapping Kelvin's cheeks, honey. And you know what? Let's watch them explain their own situation. Take a look. I was a dickhead by just listening to my dick. And that's what I did at the end of the, those four, four months and a half. And at the end, bro, yeah, I wanted to feel human attention because I didn't have my husband attention, you know? And I wanted to fulfill something that I didn't have. And that's maybe not an excuse, but that's how I felt at the moment. And I could difference my love for him and just the sexual and like the human, uh, the human contact with the guy, you know? I feel like I would have understood more. I get it, but I feel like, like, for example, I called this man 20 times, like actually. One night, yeah. And he was over there doing stuff with that man. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like for me, it's like, if you it's horrible and I'm, I'm 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 feeling really sad and really bad about it because after all bro i know that I, i've hurt someone that i love and like that's the hardest feeling to see on his face all the disappointment you know and i get it like i fucked up i fucked up like i could never do worse than what i did maybe if all this hurricane and that you came when you were supposed to come and it would have been all this way maybe i would have done that i don't know you know i don't know how life is but i did it it's done i fucked up i hurt someone i broke our family and right now i just i'm just sorry about everything that i did and how i hurt you and you know how much bro i love you and how i'm deeply sorry and uh, I just feel remorse, you know, on everything. Like, for me, it's hard to see your face and see that you're disgusted, you know, and that you're hurt, and that you're broken inside. Mm -hmm. Because I know that you really are, and you're my family. I always said that. I was fragile. I, I got caught up in my lies. I fucked up. And, and I just have everything that I deserve right now. And that's why I have to face in front of you, in front of my family, in front of you, the truth. And... I just want to say sorry again to every people that like were following us and that are following us and that really thought that I would never hurt him and maybe y'all by the same time. And yeah, I just, I can just own up on my shit right now and what I did and I cannot do anything else, you know, because I did something wrong and today I just want to show to Omar that even though I did all of that, I always knew and I always know right now that, bro, you are the one that I truly love, deeply love, and I fucked up, but I'm not going to fuck up again. And maybe, bro, maybe you finding out was something that I had to experience to understand that, bro, you cannot play with people's feelings like that. Like, you cannot just because you're fragile, get up, cut up lies, manipulate, just to not get caught and just to live life like you want. It's not like that, bro. We, we, we're we supposed to trust each other and I know that I fucked up and I will never do this again. Never, guys. Like, I almost lost my other half by something like this and if i knew that like cheating would have been 
so harmful and so hurtful towards Omar and our relationship, obviously I would have never done it. I would just keep my dick in my pants and my tongue in my mouth, you know? But I didn't. So that's why today, I think that we're a stage in our relationship where I told him, obviously I love him and I want to continue. And I want to show him, prove him that, bro, he can ask me anything. I will do anything for him. I gave him all my passwords. Like, I showed him that, bro, I really feel remorse. And now the sadness that I've seen on his face, I don't want to see it again. And the sadness that I've seen on the face of my mom and all that, I don't want to see it again in my life. You know, I want to build my family with one person and it's you. And that's what we said from the beginning, from the start. So yeah, again and again, I'm sorry. So thank you for giving me this second chance. Thank you for us, for you to letting us work on things. And we have two months together now in Houston to make everything work between the both of us. And I just hope at the end of those two months that, that we'll be united again and ready to, ready to reform life, you know? I know y'all trusted me, I fucked up, and I promise y'all, I'm never gonna hurt my pumpkin again. And bitches, you better stop fucking talk to my man because you think he's single. He's not single. Uh. Okay, hoes? So stop trying. He's with me, and he will be with me forever, despite everything that happened. I'm gonna make it work, trust me. Okay? I'm gonna be happy. What'd you say? Huh? What'd you say? I said, I just gotta get my... Shit back. Uh, I know this quality is horrible, but it's the quickest and easiest way. So then this way I can edit the video. Um, so the day that I'm posting this, which is September 25th, Wednesday, um, we finally have agreed and we're just, we're just best friends and we're friends and yes, we appreciate each other's friendship, and I know he was wrong, but um, he's came to a realization like how much he's hurt me, and I've also came to a realization of my self worth, my self value, and um, we've processed it. So, and I'm mature enough to sit next to him, and he already got his ticket here. Like, I wasn't gonna. That's not a cheap ticket, and. I actually, at the end of the day, I still care about him as a person, you know, and I know my self-worth enough to not have to kick him out, burn his clothes, and do all this extra stuff, so, so yeah, uh, oh geez, we're officially just friends, and he's gonna go home soon, he's getting a ticket soon, but, um, like I said, I'm, I'm not an evil person. And yeah, I guess y'all will see us together, but like y'all have been, and we've been, you know, hanging out. I mean, he's out of town, but it's, it's not what it was. And I don't think it will ever be. So thank y'all so much, OGs. Um, I love y'all. Um, I think we both, I know for a fact I do, I plan on being active on my own social media and I'm pretty sure he does as well. So if y'all want to go subscribe to our channels, y'all, I would love for that y'all to do that. Um, but yeah, I love you guys and I'm sorry this ended this way, but you know, know your self-worth and your value guys. Listen, I don't have much to say about this situation. I don't really like to speak on other people's relationships. I really don't because at the end of the day, people are going to do what they want to do anyways. However, I will say if I was Omar, I would leave because I wouldn't be able to handle dating Geronimo. And I'm speaking as if I had Omar's mindset, by the way. Because remember, I told you, Omar said he has heavy trust issues and he needs constant reassurance. So if I was Omar, I would leave because it's never going to work. I would need a guy I can trust. And then on top of that, he lives all the way in Paris. Like, so you mean to tell me you cheated on me 
and now I have to try to work through it with you while you live in a whole other country doing God's know what we being we we and bonjouring all the time. Nah, I'm good. However, if it was me, Elijah in these shoes and I'm in my early 20s and I'm dating a guy like Geronimo, I would have stayed only because I would have already done my research on Geronimo before I got with him. So if I would have known that he is an adult entertainer who wants to make it big in the entertainment business and I still chose to date that man, I would have to be realistic in what comes with that. And sadly, what comes with that lifestyle uh, is the fact that they be, they be out here in these streets. It is what it is. I never understood people who get with rock stars or, or, or musicians or people in the industry and act so heartbroken when they find out their partner is out there in bed with groupies. Like, come on now. Come on now. That's why I don't give Rashida a hard time for staying with Kirk. Not that he's a rock star, but you know, he's still in the entertainment industry in some, some form, shape, or fashion. And then look at Snoop Dogg and his wife. They are still together. And Snoop was clearly a dog back in the early 90s. Or look at Tiny and T.I. Or even Aerosmith, uh, front, 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 front singer. What the hell is Steven Tyler Chow and his wife? And to be clear, <clears throat> I'm not giving any of these men a pass at all. I gotta be clear. I'm not giving them a pass. I'm simply saying you cannot knowingly date a garbage man and then get upset or sad that they are outside picking up other people's trash. It simply doesn't make sense to me. So if anything, my advice to people would be to just do a background check on who you decide to date and not just checks on their credit score, which is important, but checks on their character and their career choices. Okay. Now, speaking of doing background checks on who you date, it's clear this next guy didn't do a background check at all. Because if he did, he would have found out he is now the latest victim and a long list of men who have gotten the name Grayling Purnell tatted across their face. Oh, yes. Cousins, 41-year-old fashion designer and Beagle Live host Grayling Purnell has found yet another young guy to be his boy toy. And this guy is a 22-year-old named Cam. In fact, these two met in Las Vegas on Cam's 22nd birthday, which happened to be this past September 23rd. And during their first meetup, they became boyfriend and boyfriend. And young Cam was feeling so nice, literally. He, he was super drunk, and he agreed to get Grayling's name tattooed onto his face despite just meeting him that same day. Like, imagine that. And on his birthday. That is wild to me. Take a look. Hey, can cheers, nigga. Bro, we supposed to be like vlogging, for vlogging and shit. How you feeling, birthday boy? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Good vibes only. Hey, come here. Turn around. It's so sexy. You see? You want to see? That nigga's so fine, I drink his bath <laughs> Bro, I'm literally never gonna be single again. Like, real shit. I'm kinda drunk now. I'm ready to give him some birthday sex. So fun. Look at my 
fine ass nigga. Happy birthday, babe. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday, nigga. <laughs> This is like the seventh guy Grayling has gotten to do this. So I wasn't shocked by that foolishness at all. However, what did catch me off guard is the fact that just two days ago, Cam decided to get Grayling's name tattooed on his face again. Oh, yes. This young man decided to do it not once, but twice. Take a look. No more tattoos on your face. Okay, that's it. Well, you can get them on the side over there, but nothing on the front. You hear me? A fool. The man is a fool. A fool, a fool, a fool, a fool, a fool, a fool. But hey, you know what? These two might be bound to glory together. They they just might be, you know, for each other. Who knows? This is this is the mess. Like twice. You got that man's twice. Like I'm at a loss of like twice, bro. Really? Here and then here. Oh girl, it's too wrong. The mental health in the world is falling. We fall down. But they're not getting up. They're not getting up. Now, Grayling has been online saying he's going to marry this man because this man has gotten a tattoo of his name on his face. But I'm like, uh, sir, uh, uh, so did the other six victims. You didn't marry any of them. Uh, what makes this one so different? Uh, and he clearly has a type because all of these men be looking the same. Like, okay, if you blink fast enough, they all, they're all the same person. They all the same person. But you know what? Do your thing. It's, it's their life. What I'm going to do? What I'm, what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? You know, we ain't got to like it. But what can we do? Grayling is not doing anything illegal. He's not. Child, I'm out of here. Okay. I got to go. This, 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 this is too much for me. Okay. Like, subscribe, share. All the... Girl, I don't even know. I can't even talk. I'm tongue-tied. The story is crazy. Just... just Bye.